I was about to say, we've got a furry and a Disney princess. We got all we need. Fuck, we haven't even started and we have our first uwu. God damn it. The start of the next video is just going to be like Steven bitching about how Ash won't call him daddy. Yoka is in jail. Right, she has a trial. By combat. Well, she is our most deadly uh, group member, so. See, I thought he was talking about mouse. The the, the, the question still stands. Does y'all have thumbs? Oh, yeah. That's <laughs> I mean, the alternative is taping your weapons to your wings. Idea for weapons for mouse. Duct tape. <gasps> oh, no. No, just a tiny little dagger that he, that he keeps in his beak at all times. Uh, so, Jordan and Miriam, you two said you wanted to go to the fountain? Yeah, I don't remember why. I don't okay. remember why either. Reasons why you should not skip a week of D&D. Like, your character doesn't. You do. Your character doesn't. Yeah. Yeah. So in this in this instance, uh, character knowledge would be Miriam stays put and and assumes that she's hidden, whereas player knowledge would be start rolling a new character. What the fuck is that? Please be a mouse named Crow. I mean, everybody everybody watching the video will just know that the Miriam token by heart at this point. So any changes would completely disrupt the flow of all future videos. <laughs> I like OG Miriam. <laughs> new Miriam sucks. <laughs> I really hope nobody says anything funny like while they're in private chats with Steven. <laughs> We're very serious people. No, I'm very suspicious. I've never told a joke in my life. Head to the fountain because sure that's where the party said we were do doing the night stakeout. It's a little early for that, yeah. but you know they'll they'll be there nighttime probably. Certainly not way ahead of time. I think I'll also let Mouse play in the fountain if he wants. Oh, he wants. Aww. This is Aww. the biggest bird bath this crow has ever seen, and he is enjoying himself. <laughs> that I mean, bird loves stealth. that fountain. Stealth. That's the yeah, check. Yeah. So you're also hiding in a bush. This seems to be a popular pastime, right? Welcome to Port Prosperity, where popular pastimes include wandering around the markets and hiding in bushes. Don't forget the fountain. There we go. Oh my god. That is one happy little boy. I like the little laundry sitting there, too. Little laundry? What are you- what? What are you looking at? That is a I mouse. There, there's laundry right here. That- that is a mouse. Zoom in, it is oh! a real life picture of a mouse. Oh, I'm sorry, I thought it was a basket of laundry. <laughs> she just rides into the center of town on a fucking 50 foot wide mouse. This is Port Prosperity, the safest, richest city in the Shattered Kingdoms, after all. Foreshadowing. You said there was what? a crazed guy walking around? Yeah. Would, uh, can I roll perception to see if I notice anything off about said crazed individual? Uh, let's do investigation. Okay. Since you're looking at him and you're like, what about him? Okay. Nah, he's a, no he's a normal him? dude. Fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> I know that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Is that my dad? We go way back. Darren? <laughs> Papa, you've returned from getting the cigarettes. Boy, oh shit, this. I forgot to add a cantrip to my thing. Remind me to fix that later. Okay, fix that later. Hey, you should fix that later. So from the water, a... I don't... It, this is weird to describe. If you say a tentacle. There are four tentacles. God damn it. The bushes just explode. <laughs> <laughs> just... <laughs> And a bunch of leaves like fall. Like flower, pe flower petals and leaves in like a 30, a 30 foot radius, just poof. There's like a, an Aiden shaped hole in this bush now. And let's just assume while I'm out there running, I'm screaming, Hey, don't eat him. It's harder to get his body back when he's inside of you. I also love that Ash's character introduction is, Hey, you spit him out. Hey, Grick, it's your turn. Oh boy, thanks. I want to eat some people. I know you do, Mr. Grick. You're trying not to be the star of this hentai film. I see that in the chat. However, have oh, you considered no. tentacles? <laughs> yes, I know this is a bad joke, and yes, I'm going to run it further into the ground. Thanks for being clear for the video. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, if you could help get this thing off of me, I could keep the rest of you alive, which would be super helpful for the future, I imagine. They're more worried about the mouse than you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. So I am knocked out. Welcome to the wonderful world of death saving throws. I'm your host, Steven. You can't have a roll of cookie dough and not. It's like summer sausage, too. You have to do it. One does not own a, a phallic food package without, you know, <laughs> treating it like your phallic food package. It just falls over dead afterwards, just leaving a little, perfect little hole of grossness right around where the spell hit. Gross. Nice. Also gross. We I love know. a person, perfect little hole of grossness. Thanks, Thanks I, hate I hate it. Is your familiar alive oh i mean not yet but he's got this weird little thing where he doesn't stay dead for very long so i mean i wouldn't worry about it eventually he'll just like come back yeah he's he gets a little dumber every time he comes back but 
that ship has sailed, and like, what can you do? He comes back and he's wearing a little dunce cap and a flat earther society t-shirt. <laughs> that's what that's what crows for, my little friend. She like absorbs the death and then comes back and then everything's fine. Yep, I have I have Crow the Mouse and Master Crow up there next to each other and it is beautiful. <laughs> this won't get at all confusing. I don't sleep. Well shit, how'd you get that going? I would love that. Oh, Anyone well, then who we're has fine. a lich mouse for a familiar is obviously a okay by me. Oh man, we're gonna have a we're gonna have a session titled "Wrath of the Lich Mouse." <laughs> this has been D and D Sings. Thank you everybody for watching. Uh, same time next week. I just yeah. got my channel demonetized. I'm gonna go over to to Yolka's cell and like poke my head through the bars. Yolka. She's probably like sleeping in a little corner, just kind of curled up in a little ball of feathers. Bread? The mouse alarm. Bread! Wait, wait, what's that? Bread! Thanks, I hate it. Ah! What is that thing? And why does it look so tasty? <laughs> no, no, don't eat it. Don't eat it. <laughs> yeah, you super don't want to eat him. <laughs> She's like, oh god, why is there a chicken nugget crossing her <laughs> No, it's just Jaren. Jaren walks through the door. He could uh, be dead. He is accompanied by totally not Jaren, who's temporarily going to be Jaren. <laughs> His twin brother, Baron. Totally not Jaren. We have another one coming. I believe we picked up a stray. Of course you did. It wouldn't be the Silver Star if we didn't pick up a stray. I mean, to be fair, I can be fairly helpful. She can uh, close wounds, which, uh, as our previous expedition uh, showed, that could be a very useful She's skill. She's welcome aboard. Plus, now we know, as long as we still have someone alive, namely my mouse friend, everything should be fine. I suppose, now, but I don't know much about giant crabs. So yeah, I, say, I, feel like... I have thaumaturgy, which means that I can make the ground tremble, and it's harmless, but if a crab is hiding in the sand, then in theory, it might draw him out. Just everyone act like it's an earthquake. They'll never know it was me to begin with. Everybody have their earthquake buddy? I'm literally a walking radar for crabs. That spell is just so, known as crab radar now. And stop. And stop. Okay. This is where crab radar goes off. Beep, 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 beep. Hey guys, I think I found one. It's just... <laughs> and by picture, I mean token. Because there's a, there's a big crab about to happen. Oh god, it's a very I big crab! I cast melt butter and prepare for a good old, <laughs> a good old crab bake. I need to not have this private to have you sufficiently scared. Thanks, I hate it. Today's episode is just titled, Thanks, I Hate It. So at this point, I would like you all to just take a gander at Calorith D&D General in Discord. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh right. no. Oh, I'm gonna die. <laughs> um, the crab is going to continue his attack. His other claw. 16. Also kills this guard. I'm starting to think we should have looked for the other ones instead. Realistically, is this something that we can kill? As that one tries to run, the crab gets a attack. This one doesn't make it. Just cue him going, <laughs> I'm in danger. That second one hits, I'm down. Oh, shit. It has to do yeah. double your max HP to instantly kill you. <laughs>